Taijasa Sanskrit, Taijasa which means endowed with light, is one of the many different levels of existence which the jiva experiences due to the activity of maya, it is the second of the three stages of consciousness that are part of the individual order of the jiva. The three stages of consciousness are one Vishva or Vaisvanara or the waking stage characterized by the individual gross body or Sainthula Sarira, two Taijasa or the dream consciousness which has the subtle body or Sukshma Sarira as its object, and three Prajna or the deep sleep consciousness which is the unified and differentiated consciousness or Prajnagana and the characteristic of the blissful causal body, the ultimate experience of Brahman, Yajnavalka tells Janaka that Inda, the kindler, cryptically called Indra, resides in the right eye, the person in the left eye is Inda's wife, Viraj, their meeting place is the space within the heart. Therefore, the soul is composed of Inda, who in the context of creation is Prana, the fundamental energy, and Viraj, who is the diversity-producing principle. Sankara in his commentary on Brihadaranyaka Upanishad IV, E.2-4 interprets Inda as the self in the waking stage, the union of Inda Viraj as the self in the dream stage and Viraj as the self in the deep sleep stage, he calls the self of the second stage as Taijasa i.e. the one shining in the mind or Hrdaya Buddha i.e. the one who has become the heart, mantra number 4 of the Mandukya Upanishad Upanishad Agama Prakarna reads Svapnisthananta Prajna Saptanga Akonavinsatamukha Praviviktabuk Taijaso Davidiya Pada, which means The second quarter pada is Taijasa whose sphere of activity is the dream state, who is conscious of the internal world of objects, who has seven limbs and nineteen mouths and who enjoys the subtle objects of the mental world. Reality consciousness conditioned by its own identifications with the subtle body becomes the dreamer and experiences the dream world as Taijasa. The waking state ego has 19 mouths, the five organs of action, the five aspects of prana, the vital breath, the mind, intellect, egoity and sata. The Atman manifesting through the gross body, Vaisvanara, is seven-limbed. The dreamer enjoys the subtle world of objects because he is aware only of the inner world, Taijasa, the luminous and whose sphere of action is dream, and who is the inward-oriented consciousness, is the sound syllable U of AUM because it is exalted and because it is intermediate, it occurs between A and M referring equally to Vaisvanara and Prajna which two are, therefore, identical but itself being an unreal appearance, a phantom. The secret of the intermediate you is that the listener of this sound syllable becomes the knower of truth, of reality, you being labial modifies speech represented by the sound syllable a which is the primordial guttural sound and then sinks into the silence of m which measures both a and u and absorbs them. After gaining this understanding the fourth stage, Turiya, is reached and all sufferings end. In the Tattva Viveka chapter of Pankatasi Sloka 24, Vidyaranya Swami explains, Prajnastatrabhimanina taijasatvam prapadyate haranyegarbhadamisasteorvyasti samastita that the one undivided consciousness in its microcosmic aspect is called taijasa, and in its macrocosmic aspect, haranyagarbha or ishvara, the totality because of identification with all subtle bodies of the universe, the former is the consciousness identified with the subtle body of the jiva, the reflection of consciousness. According to the Saiva Siddhanta, the Ahankara Tattva is manifested three folds, first as the Taijasa dominated by Sattva, the second as the Vaikarika dominated by Rajasa, and the third as the Bhutadika dominated by Tamasa, thus distinguishing categorically the consequence of the domination of each quality. Sattva is called Taijasa because of its illuminating capacity but from which quality evolved, in addition to the manas tattva, the five organs or faculties of sense. However, the Samkhya school associates sattva with Vaikarika and Rajasa with Taijasa, 